got the what is this? Red wind. The red wind. We're side. using the red wind, and we're gonna test it out against the hollow sun. In this video, we're comparing the popular budget X2 Hollow Sun Red Dot Pistol Sight and the new Redwind HD Cobra 1x26x22MTR. The Hollow Sun has one red reticle, 50,000 hours of battery life, a manual and lockout mode, it's waterproof and parallax free. The Redwind also has the same battery life, three red reticles, eight level red illumination plus two night vision mode, manual control plus shake awake. It's waterproof and shockproof of the 12,000 Gs. Here they are side by side. The red one looks a little bit longer than the hollow sun, but the base is the exact same size. They are the exact same length. The red one looks a little bit longer because the optic sticks out a little bit on top. Notice the differences in the shape. The hollow sun has a little bit more of a rectangular shape with a circular top. And the red one is a little bit more circular and oval with a bigger field of view. We're trying out the hollow sun first, since it's what's already installed on the 9mm Canik SFX rival. He's gonna make sure that the sight is zeroed and get a quick grouping. Then we're gonna compare the red wind. Um, but it might have been my shot too. I see I pulled that one too as well. Yeah, that's not bad. A couple good practice shots right there. And it's like 20 yards out plus with the pistol. All right, I would say go ahead and take another five shit shots. Yeah. And then we'll just compare this one. Uh, this will be the hollow sun. Mm -hmm. And we'll shoot the, the uh, red wing over there. Yeah. These were my first shots from like 25 yards, and, then and, then these I went, were... and these are when I went closer right here. Okay, that's a good grouping right there. Yeah. All right, that's the group with the hollow sun right here. So we have these shots and these right here. That's a good group right there. All right, we're back live. He blends in with all the trees. I can't even see him. It's a killer. I think that should be a decent little group. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not Man. Bad. Mr. CEO is right on them fucking money. Oh. Hell oh, that's yeah. good. Alrighty. Man. Now let's that's put the hard to beat. Now let's put the other red dot site and uh and we'll see which one we like best. Okay. Alright. Now the what is this? Red wind. The red wind. We're using side. the red wind. And we're gonna test it out against the hollow sun. And we're just gonna get on paper right now and then we're gonna get a shot group. It's on the money. I think you pulled that one. Yeah, I think so. That was around the Dude, money. that's it. And we just bore sighted this, so these are the first shots with this. So, yeah. Hey, that's not bad. Oh, right yeah. About the bullseye. Like an inch or two up. Uh, right, uh, a little up to the right from the bullseye, but you had it really close. Oh, oh you got oh, it. Oh, you hit the bullseye. I hit the bullseye. <laughs> you got it. Nice. nice. I know I got the bullseye that time. That's a good sight. That's a good sight. I don't see many differences between this and the hollow sun. Yeah, that's really good. I don't know how the battery life is going to compare to Nobody hit the red. I'm yeah, just first one to the red. Yeah, that's the Is the battery life, but yeah. as far as its utility, it hits no, right on the money. Uh, yeah, let's take some more shots down here now. Yeah.
A little right, I think. Oh, yeah, that's closer. That Oh. All right. Well, that's not bad. He had a lot better grouping with the uh, with the hollow sun though, but I mean that's still pretty good. Yeah. Um. Now let me take some over there and we'll see. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm shooting the one all the way to the left. Oh, I see it's shooting a little bit right, I think, but we'll see the grouping. It's a good group. Yeah. It just needs to be moved a little bit to the right, but... I'm actually really happy with that group. That grouping was a little bit better. Just a little tighter, actually. Yeah. It's just that it needs to be moved to the left, but yeah, yeah. same with yours. Yeah. Because you're hitting to the right. But hey, I'm happy with this thing. I think it's a little bit clearer. Um, you aim for that one on the bullseye? We're, aim we're aiming for that. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. All yeah. right. It's a small target. Yeah. Run week later. The Igman, the 223, 55 grained FMJ. We're at 75 feet. We hit high and right. So we're gonna take our Allen key, put it right here. And we're gonna go counterclockwise so we can go down. And then here, we want to go left. So we're going to go same counterclockwise. Let's shoot another one to confirm. We're at 100 yards. Let's get a grouping. I moved it a few clicks down. Hey, that was a really fun video. I really like this red dot sight and I really like the quality from Red Wind Optics. Make sure you check them out. I'll link the website in the description below. They have a lot of different optics and I think that they're really worth checking out. I want to give a big shout out to Red Wind 
for sending me this product to review and a big thanks to all of you for trusting me with an honest review. Once I use it extensively, I'll do a one year review so that you can see how it's holding up. And what's to say about the Canik? It's a great handgun. Any of them, they're really great. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out the other videos that are similar to this. I have them all in the playlist.